All right, guys, welcome back to the Lost in the Cost podcast, a trading card podcast. This is um, episode four, and yeah. uh, we got some things that we haven't done before going on in this podcast. Anyways, my name is AJ, aka A Dot's Hobby Spot on Instagram, and that's Scott. <laughs> well, I thought you were going to talk about something else. No, no, no. Your other thing. No, no, no. Uh, Scott and uh pack papa on instagram ebay basically anywhere where i'm doing card stuff so let's talk about what we picked up this week on uh i just guess an ebay anywhere trade night we didn't have any trade nights so just ebay no, anything we bought we no no trades no, there was nothing no 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 all right scott i'll have you go first man the whole week with no football right so there mm-hmm. wasn't really hockey either, actually. Just an empty week. All star this, Pro Bowl that. I dove into WNBA. Oh, yeah. Or just like women's sport the, in general. That's where the money's at. Like Chloe Kim, Chloe Kim autos. Uh, Caitlin Clark Bowman first. That seems to be the one that I want. Uh, Sabrina Ionescu, or Ionescu yeah. how, is that how you pronounce her last name? Yeah, Ionescu. So like, that's the one I also want to get, but I do want to get like a WNBA prism color. Silver would be sick, but they are more money than like you think. Than you're willing to spend? Well, <laughs> it's just hard because We don't do a ton in the women's market. No, we don't. The media doesn't do a ton in the women's market. Well, what I'm trying to figure out is like, who's buying this stuff? Somebody is. Yeah. Because I'm looking at it. I'm like, they have a ton of it. It's for sale. And it's over $100 for like a PSA 10 base prism. Yeah. Okay. Like they are shorter print overall. Huh. So base might not be the worst thing, but I didn't grab one yet. I've only been able to get Caitlin Clark's at like what I feel is reasonable. Like I think I got the first bow and it was like twenty dollars Canadian. That's not bad. I was watching a pink. Yeah. And a refractor. The refractor was like sixty-five Canadian. Uh huh. And last night, actually, a local guy, one of the kids, had a pink. Bowman first, Caitlin Clark, and he ate one to 25 Canadian. I was like, yeah, I'll take that. I've been nice. just looking for one. Yeah. That's way below comps. I just, where did you find the market here? Where'd you find that at? On Instagram. It's the shield. Yeah. Let's go, man. So, yeah, I get the women's together. I guess I have like, well, we were, oh, we were in Zeke's break this week. Oh, we were, yeah. That was. And I got that uh, Bryce Young silver. It was a crazy break. Prison. <laughs> Just fat all the, break. I feel like all the top QBs hit on that one, which was nice. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, I only got a, what was it? A prison yeah, break to... or something like that. One or the other. Prison was, break. I think or... it was prison break or prismatic. But prismatic. It, he still showed up. He showed up. He took a little peek. Then I decided, uh, no, maybe I won't go into the next break. And then I didn't. Me... Well, I also, all the teams left are like, oh, they're so fast. I went by so fast. I don't think there's any like high value team there. There's mm-hmm. no real card that could come out to like make it worthwhile. Yeah. And yeah, I know. That's that's why I, I kind of just bailed out. I'm like, okay, well, I'm like, maybe the Rams. I want the Rams. I want a Puka. Puka would be nice. Or he doesn't hit much Puka actually. Yeah. If you get him, the mind. one player that doesn't show up in his breaks. Damn. I hate Pukas. I'm a Puka boy. It's uh because I'm from the island. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I can't. I'm trying to think if I. Did I, I hit the red, white, blue Richardson when we started finding retail fat packs around. Yeah. Was that last week? Yeah. Was that really what was going on? It was, it was last week. Because that's where I found mine. And then it was after the. What's it called game? 
because my buddy came back from San Francisco and then he showed me the packs. Mm -hmm. And so he probably came back around like Tuesday, Wednesday or something. Okay, like so we just started finding them in the wild around there. Uh huh. Uh -huh. But like, well, I showed you the Richardson and then we were looking at it longer. Like the red, white, blue is maybe the nicest red, white, blue, but it depends on player because it's like a two of three color match. Yeah. So I kind of like it. Looks good. But the Levis doesn't look as good in the red, white, blue, which is funny, I guess. I think it's, it's like it. Oh, it's because it's like he's doing the same match, but like the maybe it's just the card. Maybe it's just the way he's positioned. Look at the way he's... The Richardson looks way nicer. Because Richardson's ready to bomb it down the field or take off with yep. it. You don't know what he's... 75 yard. He's going to throw it and catch it. Yeah. He's going to do like the... those commercials <laughs> back in the day. Yeah, do the Lamar Jackson. Like, there was no hockey I didn't buy. I'm trying to sell hockey, man. But, yeah. Weird. I tried to. I went through my stash and tried to sell whatever I could. Nothing's budging because I don't really have any good hockey cards. <laughs> it's just like few and far between. Even this McKinnon stuff that I have, I'm like, this should be worth money. Like, uh, purple skybox out of 199. Like, I have two different, like the retro and the. Or maybe they're two different years. But they're like. It's not really worth any money. What do what do Dude's people? Won a cup. Yeah, it's like top five player in the league in most people's lists. And what do people like? What do you think people are collecting? They want the young guns, man. Uh, We've been talking about this. It's always young guns. But the young guns of the right player. That's right. So dumb. That's what I was looking, looking at for. those Bedard Easter egg cards again because they're kind of like showing up. Uh huh. So like PSA nines are like twelve hundred box american or something i saw like it just... but, like if you go and look at mcdavid's version of the same card it's a little less than half yeah and it wasn't that high it's just because people are looking for like a newer easter egg card they're like well i wonder if there was one of someone that's actually proven that he's good at hockey and there is so it probably has brought us like the mcdavid random stuff back up i was looking at like mcdavid stuff when you sent me on that uh my homework assignment yeah yeah and i was looking at mcdavid stuff i did see one because they had that mcdavid collection of like mm -hmm. i guess all of his a bunch of rookie cards or something like yeah, that yeah it's like a box set it's a box set and i know they had that for bedard too i was debating about buying it i probably should have well i don't know if that one's out yet it will no be it's like not the product of the year there was a pre there was a pre-sale on like a bunch of websites how, I'm much, like, how much is that it's probably going for like 50 60 bucks okay really but then decent like, price i feel like most of those box set cards don't do that well or as high as you think but, but that's the thing it's like, obviously if you slab them up tens yes. or something you're gonna get some kind of return and that's what i was looking at i was looking at the mcdavid the one where he's like kind of holding the jersey up when he got drafted mm -hmm. i was going for like I think 140 US is the a funny thing is there's that version right and yeah. there's one that's in one of the sets like series one or two I can't remember and that's what I saw because I'm just like there's one that's in the set and there's one in that like collection I'm just like yeah. okay well which one is worth more and I'm assuming it's the one that's in the collection or not the collection uh, but in the set because yeah. it's probably more rare I think so but that's the one I was just mentioned like it's half the price of the Bedard yeah which is hilarious like ruin. can't wait like this is the only card about so let's all overspend and buy it well that reminds me about like opichi that's coming out mm -hmm. is this like his first bedard's first like true yeah rookie it's the card? first rookie but it won't be the most expensive by the end of the whole season thing so it's like you kind of buy a peachy right now and then just sell ASAP if you get it. Okay, so my speculation, like McDavid's OPG's like 100, 150, somewhere in there. Yeah. Just raw. So the things for Bedard hype, like day one, it's going to be 300 Canadian <laughs> for oh, that yeah. paper ass rookie. 
And then, like, when it all settles down in the end, it will probably be should probably sell around the same price, right? That's what yeah, I'm assuming. if he's if he's good, if he's as good as he's marketed, yeah. So like, they're gonna be hype. So I feel like I do want to rip one of those boxes. I'll probably end up buying packs here and there in the end after the one box, but. If you hit one of those rookies really early on, it might be worth just selling it and waiting for the uh, everything to flatten out later. Yeah, and I, I think that's what I would do because it's usually it's always the hype, right? You want to sell them the yeah, hype. Yeah, I just hate that. I would keep it's what's driving me nuts right now. Yeah. Your collection of stuff you can't sell or stuff you ended up sitting on that you should have just flipped. Mm. I know, and I was, uh, after we talked about, we were kind of like chatting about that, and I thought to myself, I'm just like, shit, like, you're right, because I was holding on to, a, you said, like, skill players, you kind of just want to sell off. Oh my god, my thing is flickering a little bit. Anyways, you kind of just want to sell off, because there's going to be hype for the next players that are coming around for next season. Yeah, next year's a all new. And then so I'm like, I fucking held on this Jordan Addison auto. I'm like, I probably should have just sold it. Which Jordan Addison auto do you have? From Gold Standard. It's only like oh. numbered to 149. Uh -huh. It's still numbered. It's still numbered, but still. So, yesterday, like the Monday, what day are we recording on Tuesday? Yeah. So, I did list my Addison auto from Mosaic. It's yep. a redemption that I actually have the card, so people might. I went and looked later. I didn't think it would be as high as it was. But. It's, Addison is behind Jefferson on the Vikings, yeah. and we like forget, like he's in the shadows. Yeah. This year, right now, he's got some value. Look at Jamar Chase right now, he's dipping. Yeah, doesn't mean anything. But I mean, it's, like, yeah. you can be your favorite player. That's who wants the card. They can have it. I know, and that's the crappy part. It's because. I'm like, yeah, Jamar Chase is so good. And I like overpaid for a couple of Jamar Chase cards. And mm -hmm. now I'm just But like, that's for you. Yeah. Or unless you were thinking of it as investment. When I look at a lot of the non-quarterback, it's never investment. It's just all PC. Like if you had 101, like I had the Drake London 101, I just kept it because it's 101. Yeah. And that's the thing I'm thinking about, like that gold Drake London that I have. I'm just like, do I just keep it because it's like a optic preview 10 uh -huh. or do i like want to sell it i mean if if he like turns into like this superstar after a new quarterback comes in then I'm, i'll probably think about selling it but right now just there's no real point of me oh, a new quarterback you're going against my ritter yeah ritter. i mean <laughs> <laughs> the Raheem morris came out and he said the things that excite him about the falcons are drake london and Bijan Robinson. Did he say anything about Desmond Ritter? <laughs> no, but he didn't say anything about Kyle Pitts either. Oh, as far as I know. Well, I've been hearing that uh, Washington is going to try and move up and get number one pick. Oh yes, because it got uh, Cliff. Cliff. Yeah, and I'm like, they're doing it. They're getting Caleb. They want him. Yeah, that's the guy. New ownership, new quarterback, new coaches. They want him. But now it's like they're showing their hands. So how much are they going to have to give up to get? I don't think very much. Number one pick. They can give the two and Maybe something else. Two and next year's draft pick. And then let's just give them uh, Terry McLaurin. Yeah. But Washington doing this is like great for the Bears because they don't have to make a mistake. Yeah. Take them. Yeah. But the Bears also interviewed cliff and they didn't hire him oh didn't know that i'm pretty sure they did they they just didn't do it hmm. anyways mm -hmm. maybe i should get into my pickups i really didn't pick up too much of yeah anything. what was your homework oh you know what well, the, let's the hockey card we'll do the hockey cards yeah I, I, uh so when i was looking up stuff i was uh looking for a silver outburst because i think those cards are actually pretty cool yeah yeah and then I decided to look up top rookies of this year. 
So I was looking for a young gun, Silver Outburst, because I initially had a Luke, uh, what's it called? Hughes. Luke Hughes, Silver Outburst. I traded that for Justin Herbert. Probably shouldn't have done that. but No, that's fine. And then, um, but now I'm like, okay, well, let's look for someone that's like top rookie. Well, one of the top rookies playing this year. And I just kind of went and I saw Brock Faber from the Minnesota mm -hmm. Wild. Yeah. So I was looking to pick up his silver outburst, trying to get it below a hundred dollars with shipping and everything like that. Kind of missed out. There was one that like sold for a decent price here within Canada with decent shipping. How much? Probably like 80 some odd. So then okay. there was another auction that was ending. And then I did the max price of like 85 mm -hmm. on that one. And then I got outbid. So raw? it was raw. Okay. So I did not, uh, you know, you're lucky, you man. Why? The market is saying like, okay, Brock Faber. Silver Outburst is great because it's not base, right? Yeah. I do like them. They're like one per box, so you never know which one you're getting. But Brock Faber's a D-man. Oh. Long, it is not good. I'll get there it, It's like it seems okay because it's like price is good and he's on the he's in the top 10 for rookie scoring yeah right? yeah and that's why i saw that i'm like okay well he's top 10 for rookie scoring so i might as well i should try and see if i could snag something from him qd men are like i don't know i like i have a kale mccarr rookie auto patch that, like from artifacts and it's for like 60 dollars. dudes won everything <laughs> and he's like five years deep and it's just not worth it really holy crap okay well but it's like this brock favor thing is high yeah but it is not worth it ah see that's why uh let me do some homework so yeah. you need the star forwards man you need the names but favor is like a name i know because he's up there but he's not going to get you any return long term. <laughs> I don't think. It's like it's super dangerous. Hell yeah, dude. Like, I have that Owen Power stuff. Owen Power was first overall in the draft. His, yeah. value, his young gun is like $25 Canadian. Holy smokes, man. What? The... First overall. First overall. Brock Faber's just hot now. Yeah. Like, maybe if he had his 101 or out of 10, out of 25, young gun, like, maybe. But you better get that for cheap. So pay attention to uh, their position. position. Ah! The Wild's not a bad market, though. They're pretty hockey crazy. Yeah. Minnesota. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. You'll get in trouble. Oh, Don't will I? Don't make fun of them. Okay, I'll blur Don't that. Don't make fun of them. I'll blur that out. Yeah. Yeah, bleep it out. Bleep it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. man. So, since like, I did not... It was a, you're lucky you didn't win one. Because you'd have to flip it. Oh, man. I think, I think that was the ultimate goal. Hockey's more long-term. You need that Hall of you Fame think career so? stuff. Okay, yeah. well, well, I'm getting into that. I mean, talking about... Well, what did you end up getting then? So, what I ended up getting instead was a bunch of packs... <laughs> Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, let me Which ones? So I got uh, Series 1, 2023-2024. Yep. Series Classic. 1 of 2021-2022. Full car field. Yep. And then Series 1 of 2020-2021. And that one, it used to be. Everyone was going for oh, to Alex Lafreniere and... Now it's like Jason Robertson. Oh, this is yeah, Oscar. Jason Robbins. Jason Robertson because yeah. he's a fellow uh, Filipino. Is he? He's Filipino, man. His and then brother I, might be in there. And about this. Oh, that's a very hurtful. Oh, oh, damn it! Okay, so it's cool. You could hit a huge legend auto. That's why I did it. <laughs> I only dabbled with a few packs and. It was so bad. I want you to start with that, to be honest. Okay, yeah, let's let's open this one. So if you guys, uh, if we're not watching the video, it's a SP Signature Edition Legends. This one is a yeah. fairly pricey. Like you can hit a huge auto. I would like you to hit a Ray Bork Future Watch so auto. That would be sweet one. for me. So they'll try to 
Get it off, yeah. Dill horror check. check. What is this? Okay, we'll the put from the back here. Randy Wood. Oh dear me. What do we got? Chris Pronger. That's kind of hilarious. Blues. This one, it's a red helmet. Backwards card. Mike. Oh, sick. Commodore. You got auto. Auto. Defense. Mike Commodore. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. Mike Commodore auto. <laughs> At least you got the auto. I got the auto. <laughs> is it numbered? No, that's what I was wondering. I was looking for an, a number because it looks goldish. He did win a championship. He has an interview that I think he's famous for where he comes out in like a robe. He's just like loosely tied. He, as long as I got the auto. Well, we won't say what shop that's from, so the box is still good. Yeah, the box is still good, guys. Um, Crazy. And then let's see what... Uh, we should have started with, or put that last, but I just like, <laughs> wanted to see how bad it was going to be. I wanted to see how bad it was going to be, too. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay, which one should I go next? Should I do uh, this year's Let's series? do the Robertson one? year. Robertson year? Series 2020? one. They are, like, that's from retail or hobby? Hobby. About all hobby. Okay, yeah. Hobby's always smarter because there's, like, a UD exclusive chance, at least, or high gloss. Retail doesn't offer that. So we got... Oh, I got a colored card. It looks <laughs> like a rookie portraits. I'm going to spoil it. I got a Nylander. Yandale, Alec Martinez, Connor Garland, go from the back, we got Ekbald, Ekblad, Ekblad, Duchesne. Uh, that one looks different. I'd look in to see if that's a photo variant. He's okay. in a practice jersey. He's in a practice jersey. They're stuck together. Jacob. Silverberg. Yeah, Silverberg. I had his um, Fanimation card. How much did you like sell I, it? You keep it? Yeah, I PSA 10 it and nice. then I sold it for like $30 Canadian because that's how much people don't really care about him. <laughs> so, portraits. Is that not good? rookie? I don't know if it's a rookie. Oh, it's not. At your ready. Yeah. Well, that's. Not a good pack. That's not, that's not a good pack. Okay, we'll, we'll move our way up. Like, you're basically looking for a young gun unless you're building a set. I know. That's how it's hoping so, for a young gun. Just like, all right. What is it? It's probably like 650 a pack Canadian. Yeah, like six bucks. Whatever. Whatever. That oh. uh, COVID year was nuts, man, for that stuff. Right. It was up to like 850 a pack at one point. Okay. Here we go. This is the 2021. The Caulfield? I got a Jason Robertson checklist. checklist. Devin Taves. Jake DeBrusque. Miles Wood. Lindbaum. Superstar of Barkov. And Tim Stitzel. So. Base card? Base, I'm pretty oh, sure. That was not good either. Holy smokes. That was sad. That was sad. This one feels Feel a for you. bit thick, so I don't know. Okay, what last one is the, this, this uh, last one 20, is this year's oh, yeah. 2023, 2024. So we really want a, be, a Bedard Easter egg, right? That's uh, it doesn't look like we're getting that. <laughs> the odds of young Back guns when... in series one are nice though, like per pack. And then we got Pasternak, UD Canvas of Dano, and then Tanner, J. Oh my gosh, I don't even. I didn't get one young gun. No. Holy. Wow. You got Nick Suzuki. Uh, Montreal Canadiens. Who is it? Suzuki. Uh. So I uh, wish you luck on your rips. Mine. I mean, I got the auto. Well, you got the auto. I got the auto. That's my okay. Commodore. Like, what are you gonna do with that? Uh, just put it on sale. What are you gonna do with it? Just put it on sale somewhere. Yeah, bring it. Put it on your table. Put it on my table. Yeah, you put it on the All so right. I did OPG from 22, 23, like last year's, just because yep. I'm getting ready to rip the new stuff. Just four packs from Hobby, super cheap. They're like five fifty Canadian per pack from Hobby. So 
You never know, though. You can get one of ones, no autos, manufactured garbage patches, you know. Yeah. Stuff everyone wants. Base Corey Perry, All Star Goudreau. So, OPG Premier, Marshawn, Retro, Panarin, Kirby Dak, Base, Base. So, nothing numbered there. Disappointing, maybe. Maybe. Ooh, look at this dry cycle on the back. Oh my gosh. Local hero. It's happening. Just kidding. Adam Pellick. Fajimo. Nick Ritchie Blue. It's not going to save anybody. Not numbered. Victor Wilson Retro. Not flag pack. And the dry cycle base card. Ugh. I got all those sad packs. It was a fresh box. He opened it for me. Oh, it was a fresh box. Yeah. Mark Stone on the back. Tony D'Angelo, a blue Ty Smith, Clayton Keller, All Star Retro. So, Ed what are you Curious. exactly looking for in OPG? In these ones, I would say, okay, this year I want an Owen Power and I want a number. Owen Power number. So, just like That's rookie or number. I think Matt Boldy's in here too. Uh, the okay. kind of Geno on the back and a retro again and a blue so I got all the crappy packs she Jordan it's... Greenway which is Jordan Spence marquee rookie Jakob Vrana Nils Hoglander retro yeah that was hurtful as it gets but <laughs> not a lot of money went into that there you go <laughs> that's oh man it's... See, now we can tell people influencer packs are not a thing. Yeah, we're huge influencers, guys. So just, yeah. um, that's why influencer packs aren't real. I mean, I did get the auto, yeah. so they did it do me solid. Great, they did right? me solid with that. Yeah. <laughs> started off great, but that was about it. it. The other thing with OPG is the set is huge. So like, I think it's 600 cards. Oh, that's ginormous. Yeah. It's kind of like Donruss. Yeah. Without uh, any case hit. I guess you get the 101. But I just sold my K. Andre Miller 101 from this uh, set. Uh huh. And I only got like maybe 100 bucks because it's basically a base card in red and it has nothing on the back and it says 101. Beautiful. Kind of the most boring 101 you could get. In Donruss? No real finish. Uh, no, no, no. And uh, it's OPG. Oh, OPG. So, this new stuff with the live Bedard in it, though, like his base rookie might be higher than anyone should pay for it. But there's going to be numbered versions of it. Oh. And that's going to be kind of cool. How much are boxes going for for OPG? The, 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 the one coming out. Yep. Probably like 110. Oh, that's fairly cheap. Yep. You're going to get like 300 cards out of it, probably. <laughs> but you never know. It has such a. Everyone's all about this rookie class, which is also interesting because like football's rookie class this year and hockey both have like these guys way up here. They're like the highly. T yeah, the Wemby. So they're all competing. I saw the whole, um, people are p paying so much money for the prison base Wemby's. Ah, uh, yeah. I sold mine for close to a hundred dollars. Yeah. And there's no hobby out yet. No, hobby's actually coming out tomorrow, I believe. <gasps> I'm buying you're it. Getting one? I'm buying it. Are you? No. No. Uh, Would see. you ever break basketball? Uh, you know what? I did break basketball uh, when I first started, but then... I, uh, you know, what happened was I was just like, oh my gosh, I do not know the rookie class and I don't know who I'm looking for. So mm -hmm. I just said like, forget about it. I'm not going to do what that again. Now though, the Wemby chase. I know that's it, the thing. You know what? Yeah. Wemby or bust anyways, isn't it? You're right. Maybe I should just do some hard basketball breaks. Do like a five blaster break for it for cheap and we'll just see what happens. Random team. Random teams. Yeah. Go like, hey guys, I don't know what I'm doing, but this is what we're. This I'll is just who wait for your, we're um, for. chat reaction. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, cause everyone overpaying for the Wemby's made me go look at like the Polos and stuff. Yeah, but then now Polo... they're so much lower. I'm like, yeah, yo, let's grab exactly. one of those. On Beckett, it said that it was coming out tomorrow, but I could be wrong. Let me just double check here. So upcoming drops. So prison basketball is tomorrow, February the 7th. And then we also got Chronicles NASCAR. Chronicles NASCAR. Yeah. Get that Bubba Watson auto. Then we do have rookies and stars for football coming out on the 9th. No, thank That's you. That's trash. And we do get into our baseball, which is top series one. <clears throat> paper paper cards, not really a fan of right now. And who's the rookie though this year? It's, it's probably uh, Yamamoto from the Dodgers. Oh, pitcher, but he's a pitcher, so I don't know. Maybe I could be wrong. Uh -huh. I think. Uh, oh no no no! Actually, because they'll have the Ellie De La Cruz cards for his rookie. They'll probably yeah, have because everyone was buying the Bowmans before, right? The first. Uh huh. So. I think, so what about the Drew Jones? Was that Chase for the Bowman? Well, it's, not rookie. Yeah, it's his, it was his first Bowman, but uh, he's not in the majors yet, and he's been injured. No, so a year, year yeah. weeks, yeah, weeks and years away. Yeah, exactly. So I don't think he's gonna be in. He's not gonna be in series one. I'm pretty sure. I wonder if Jackson Holiday is gonna be in this one. I'm sure Jackson Holiday would be a big chase, but I don't know if he's been moved up to the majors yet. I don't think oh. he has, but he's like a big chase card and every time. And then, I don't know, I think Ellie De La Cruz might be the main, and maybe Yamamoto. Oh, uh, you know what product is out for hockey that no what? one's buying at all? Which one? So we're all waiting for OPG, I think it's February 14th, 14th or said, something yeah. like that, that it's coming out. That's what you, yeah. It's probably the Wednesday, actually. Which is the 14th, whatever. That is, uh, um, yeah. Credentials 22, 23 came out. And I don't know anybody that's even opened a pack of it. Credentials? Yeah, it's it's the Owen Power class, like I just opened. So last year's stuff, but it's coming out in between, like, Bedard releases. Or okay. Opportunity for Bedard cards, so, like... I don't know what they're doing. Upper Deck does some weird stuff with releases, so it's... It's like a product that's going to end up sitting on shelves and going on sale. Huh. Well, I'm looking at what's it called? In stock. They have it in stock. I'm looking Wait, at some what? places that I've bought from, and it shows that OPG is in stock. The 2023-2024. Really? Yeah, there's this place in Ontario, and it's Ontario in the States, so I mean, like, the thing is that, like, I feel we get shafted so hard Yeah. on just it's not in shop. releases. Like, I was out at the one, and he's like, well, they may, he's waiting for a phone call back, but he did say, like, it's supposed to be next week, but they maybe are going to show up this week because of whatever little loophole or window or oh yeah it does say someone made. no 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 the one in ontario it is pre-ordered for february 14th yeah okay yeah so that's right so maybe next week maybe yeah. maybe we'll, we'll record, record on later. we'll record on friday on th wednesday so yeah, next the week day of, the day of release day of, yeah okay live cool. stream we're gonna go live stream no <laughs> yeah we could yeah we, we possibly could why not that's we got the capabilities. We have the mm -hmm. power. We have the power. We have the technology. If you guys want a live stream of this podcast, please uh, comment or let us know. Shoot us a DM, and then we'll I'm live stream. No. I'm, I'm, gonna I'm saying no. <laughs> I'm going to vote against I'm it. I'm going to vote against it too. We'll have it out by Thursday, Friday. It will be early enough. Thursday. Let's do Thursday. Mm -hmm. And well, then we'll... that will be interesting. I wonder how hurtful that product can be. There's some good players in this OPG. The first rookies that won't hold up over time. So let's go. Hell yeah. Like uh, Brock Brock Faber, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Hype only. This year's his only year for card, I swear. 
because what are the rookies you're looking you're looking for matthew how do you say his last name knees nice kinda the only reason you're looking for him in my opinion he's is a because maple he leaf? the maple leafs ah. okay what about of course yeah i know luke hughes is pretty good it's a tough one too he's got that name the family man yeah everybody's like hughes brothers and then who like else they, that's why the <clears throat> jack hughes young gun was 500 bucks at the beginning of the year and then he got hurt and he never was the same quinn hughes leading the race for the norris he's just gonna get his bump for the year mccarr bought a norris and a stanley cup he had a bump now he's just sitting there he's it's just you would sell hughes now to me yeah and they're hyped and that's the thing like when i was when i traded my hughes for the for the herbert mm -hmm. it was very similar pricing like this is and herbie when, was dipped when you did that i know that herbie was dipped it was about like a hundred dollars for the blue scope rated rookie Mm -hmm. and then as about i bought my outburst or a silver outburst for about like close to 100 to 80 dollars and then i'm all like well i could flip it because i know this like a lot of the outbursts have been selling for more than what i bought it for so i'm like okay we'll just do that but then i'm like oh i saw the herbie i'm like i'll just trade for herbie because that's what i want but then now looking at this silver outburst selling for about probably about one 150 to 180 so I'm like uh, probably could have sold it but it's like, whatever. not gonna Can't stay like that forever yeah it won't I just can't because i was gonna be somebody else and like i said hockey's kind of long term where you're looking for you're waiting for him to win the heart trophy okay or a championship yeah or rocket richard trophy something and then everyone will buy it uh, the Tage Thompson, I don't know if it was last year or two years ago. So that guy's rookie card, his young gun, which is the Chase. Uh, it's like $8 or less. Oh, it's trash. It's could just, garbage. Could have just bought that? And then it, he, he uh, went on some kind of spree. People paying like 200 plus for his young gun. Holy smokes. Now I think it's around 50 settled because he's like a, he's a player. Yeah. It's over now, though. That's it. Ah. You know what? When I think about projecting hockey a little bit, if there's a highly touted goalie rookie card, most of the time they don't jump into the league year one, but their rookie card will come out. Well, and they're probably going to be sub ten dollars, but the, you're projecting them to be a starting goaltender. Who was... There's only the 32 bullies in the league, really. Uh -huh. So if you get one and you buy them all at like five bucks and he becomes a starting goaltender, there's your window to sell it. It's probably five to 20 is your thing. If he's really good, like we saw with like a, like Stuart Skinner's young gun was like $14 for the longest time. Mm -hmm. And then they went on that run last year and his just went yeah like a t tens of his card have kind of settled or normalized around let's say 80 but they were over 100 at some point have you looked at it now no that's why i say 80. yeah but then he's on they're on that they're on the right now yeah, so exactly. his product is probably a little higher again but man, hockey's bizarre. Just like you're waiting for them to do something and that's it. <laughs> but, like I'm I'm starting to get a little nervous because I have the dry sidle 10. Yeah. That I got like like yeah, I got a good deal on it. It was cool. I love it. It's like one of those stories. And I, I traded the Mahomes rookie. Yeah. For like a home home uh home team PSA ten rookie. He's good, he's won things. But he's always in the shadow of McDavid. Yeah. And now they're, um, there's contract talk looming. And I'm always like, hmm, what if he goes away? People are like, no, he's not going anywhere. But he could. 
he has like a year left, so he can renew now. Yeah. Like, mm, his value is kind of coming back up because they are on that streak, but just, it's not McDavid. Why don't you, so like, why do, what is the comparison what? of price between like a dry saddle 10 young gun compared uh-huh. to like Connor McDavid? How much is the price difference? The McDavid young gun? Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, you don't, have, you don't have to get a 10. You can get like a 9 if you just want a McDavid Young Gun. Okay, but... I think if you were going to do straight across Young Gun to Young Gun, a PSA 10 dry sidle is... I'm going to say a PSA 7 McDavid Young Gun. Ah. If you're going one for one. One for one. If you're lucky, you could get an 8. Yeah. So, it's that's a big, <clears throat> it's a big difference. Yeah, like I think McDavid Raw is just under two grand. So uh, maybe let's take a look. PSA seven, or no, no, no BGS seven sold for four eighty US. A oh wow. BGS 9.5 sold for 4.7 thousand US. Mm-hmm. That was just yesterday. They go crazy. But that was no, that was a clear cut. Oh, okay, that's clear cut. I'm like, holy crap, that's a lot. But no, this one. Yeah. Uh, so base young gun, 1200 US, 1300 basically okay. US. PSA 10. No, that was BGS 9.5. Okay. Let's see what raw. Because uh, Gem Mint is uh, 2750 That's crazy. Young Gun, raw. Like, I like... If I could have a McDavid rookie, which... Or Young Guns, I have, I guess, other rookies that aren't the... You know, the main chase, but it's still cool. It's still McDavid. I would probably sit on a McDavid... Even though he hasn't won like a Stanley Cup, his value is basically nailed down. That it is what it is. Yeah. Which is hard to say with a lot of, um, let's say, modern era players. Like we have Crosby, it's nailed down. He is what he is. I think it will hold up. Ovi could beat the or break the Gretzky record for the goals, which is bringing him up a little bit more uh-huh. but he's also he is what he is it was like a... and then like the Gretzky stuff is always what it is and they seem to be kind of um, rebounding like people aren't prospecting they're like you know what I'm just going to get something that I know it's going to hold up yeah I mean that's smart the McDavid uh, so McDavid Raw is going for like uh, 700 to 800 dollars Oh, that's not bad. Yep, not bad at all. And then yeah. new target acquired. New target acquired. That's right. Yeah. Like uh, it's a hockey card I would like to have. Same with the Gretzky rookie, but I'm not sure. Like PSA one is pretty much junked up, but you have it. So like, feel like I'm in the PSA three four range for a Gretzky rookie. PSA would be nice. six. Gretzky rookie is two thousand six fifty. Gets nuts. That's crazy. Oh, oh yeah. uh, everyone sent me that stupid. Um, they found this family's unopened crate of the Gretzky year uh, cases. Uh huh. And then it's at auction. It's at over a million dollars, whatever it was at the time. No way. So, but like, the reason why Gretzky rookies kind of ended up being worth as much as they were. It seems like like they were so cheap. Nobody cared about this stuff. Yeah. Um, it's Wayne Gretzky. But everyone when they were kids was like using those cards to like bike spokes and trash them. Yeah. So they changed the print. There was no control on it. Ah. Uh-huh. So when I look at that, like they're auctioning it sealed, which is fine. It's great. It's easy. The potential of how many wet 
and the Wayne Gretzky rookies are in there uh -huh. is insane. So, like, they could just open them all and slap them all and see where you hit. Yeah. But the thing that I feel like is being missed here is the pop counts right now are what they are. We're po potentially going to see an influx. I'm going to say thousands of the card might hit the market. What's that going to do to the value? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you, if there's like do you really think there's that many more, in there? It's great. It's cases. Can see. you check? Find the article. Yeah. Take a look here. Because I think there's actually... It's not like they short printed that thing, man. I don't think it's short printed. Is this for... Where did you find this? I was sent to me. Even my mom sent oh, it to here me. That's go, how here like, go. mainstream this goes now. This was um, on Global News. Yeah. Want to score 20 Gretzky rookie cards? You'll have to pay at least 1.3 million. Well, why don't you just buy them? Yeah, that's too much. Like, you could just... They just say 20? Huh? It just says, want to say... score 20 Gretzky rookie cards. That's 20. How much would you pay for 20 Gretzky rookie cards? Well, one family from Regina is expected to cash in big after finding an unopened box. So I guess, I mean... Just one box. Yeah, and it's unopened. So the the quality of the card, you could probably... Yeah, like you said, just send it They're in. all going to, at worst, be sevens. Yeah. Okay, where is... Uh, let me see here. Let me see here. Okay, let me see. Oh, in fact, the last mint condition Gretzky rookie card sold by Heritage Auctions in 2021 fetched an eye watering 3.75 million. Eye watering. Eye watering. Crying? I would fucking cry if I paid that much. Oh, what? man. Yeah, that's nuts. Okay. So. Oh, how much is the Jordan 10 then? Well, the Jordan 10. I mean, LeBron's the real. No, just... Yeah. You know, like when I say stuff like that, people just they don't like that. They don't. Like... <laughs> no. Uh, where is I wouldn't mind a LeBron rookie either. Where's the iconic Jordan rookie card? Decade of excellence. I hate how there's like, oh, this the star card or whatever versus the Fleer, which is like not rookie but is the rookie. Yeah, I know. And then they had like uh, they reprinted right. So yeah. okay, so the last one by Heritage Au Heritage Auctions again. Mm -hmm. uh, 1986 Fleer Michael Jordan rookie, Gem Mint 10 sold for three hundred seventy-two thousand dollars. The Wayne's man. Well, that's actually crazy. Who's the real Wait. goat? That's who. Yep. There we go. LeBron. <laughs> Let me go for, let's go for a LeBron. Let's just do this. Okay. Let's just... LeBron James, PSA 10. LeBron James sold. I don't really know which one is like. The Topps Chrome. Go with that. Topps Chrome? That's my favorite. That's the iconic one where he's like dunking. Okay. Topps Chrome sold. So, Gem Mint. 10 i have one where he's shooting but that one's maybe like, that's what <clears throat> we're talking about. yeah the top uh, chrome, top's chrome. Uh, sold for 4490 last and that was a couple weeks ago really no it's a cool card there's one that sold for cool. thirty thousand. okay what year that's that? the 2020 no 20, 2003 but this one's a refractor of the same as that uh, card. Not base. Not base. Yeah, base is going like, for uh, One of the shows we were at, someone had a LeBron Cops Chrome BGS 8.5, but it had like two pretty good subs on it. Mm -hmm. And I like wanted it. So now in my head, I've been like, one day I'll get the BGS 8.5 Cops Chrome LeBron rookie. Yeah. It's not that bad, not price wise. Well. You think about five isn't the worst, but for whatever reason, I like eight five from BGS because the subs are generally like have at least one nine five on it. Yeah, 
So it makes you feel better and the price isn't as bad. Hmm. That's a good way to put it. If you think about this, it's like, oh. so it's been about, what, 20 years? If you, like, if you say a 1B card, 1B base, uh -huh. if 1B is supposed to be as good as LeBron, 20 years from now, would be not even the same type of player, man. Hey, you don't know, man. I'm just saying. Do you like how the top rookie in NBA right now, like the whole rookie of the year thing is like Chet Holgram versus Wemby? It's uh, like a white one or a black one. <laughs> They're both these like skinny, skinny, guys. lengthy guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like they'd probably. But they're doing like the same type of thing. Exactly. Dude, the thing about it is like, I feel like they're so, they look like they're prone to injury. Just the way that they're. Well, Chet was hurt. That's why he's rookie this year, right? Yeah, exactly. Nah. Was Chet number one overall? I don't. No, that was Paolo. Yeah, but it was a different year. No, that was the same year. I think Paolo was the same year. It was either Paolo or Cade. No, Paolo was last year. Cade was... The year before that. Detroit's garbage can. He wants to get traded. He wants out of there. Does he? I'm pretty sure he does. Someone did a, he, a reel of... Is he good? I, I don't know. Let's go ask your Google. So, uh, yeah. Chet was number two. Paolo was number Paolo one. Year. Chet was number two. <clears throat> then you got uh, Jabari Smith, Keegan Murray, Benedict Matherin, Jaden Ivey, Shaden Sharp. Like, the thing about it, my Shaden Sharp, uh, not even selling, man. Well, no, maybe my Shaden Sharp did sell, but my Tari Eason is not selling. He was still number one. Yeah, but for not very much, right? Yeah. <clears throat> not very much at all. Benedict Matherin, he's good. So, and Canadian too. So, I'm, I'm thinking that he would actually sell. He actually sells for a decent price. But yeah, I don't know about basketball. Basketball is kind of weird. It's like I feel like it's the same thing with hockey, where you just kind of have to wait and wait and wait. Unless there's someone like Wemby or like the number one pick, like Paolo. Paolo is actually pretty good. Yeah, Magic's I've been so. thinking like no matter who the number one pick is, generally like if you're gonna hold a card, just hold that. Like the percentages, like the bust rate is always better on a first. Like just if you hit the card, mm -hmm. debate it. Yeah. Like Lafreniere, I don't know what people were doing. I never hit that card though, so I never held anything. But at one point you never you never hit it no i never hit that rookie oh laughing in the peak was like 220 raw really i i always got like his second year stuff yeah there's no reason to have any of it his <laughs> auto is kind of wild because he like writes his whole name out and it's all like these like crazy like he must do graffiti on the side oh yeah yeah oh man. Ja, 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 ja. just basically and stuff yeah and, okay what uh what kind of homework assignment yeah what homework assignment do i get Ooh, it better Ooh. not be basketball we just talked no, about we're it not gonna do basketball it better not be baseball because i'll just go get otani no you're gonna try to make it a little bit difficult no 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 okay okay okay, okay. let's uh if you can be creative it's good i can be creative yeah like you know i want a barbie margot robbie first appearance card yeah does that exist let's find out no let's talk about okay so my homework assignment all right guys so you know we did all the hockey stuff we did all hockey talk so let's get into the homework assignment so mm -hmm. my homework assignment for scott this week is to find a celebrity alan and ginter card that you want to buy okay because you're that's talking about easy. margot robbie so. that's too easy oh okay okay fine then, that's fine, too, then. Easy. Fine, then. too easy okay about uh a first bowman we're gonna go baseball then okay we'll do first bowman of a i guess someone that's coming into the league potentially this year oh so i have to look up who's coming in now. okay yeah potential potential prospects for this year and then we'll have okay. to we'll do some homework on that. I'm gonna buy the card. Yeah. Oh, you could buy the card. You could uh, do what I did and just buy a pack of Chrome. Actually, that's more fun for me. But 
I should look into the cards. More. Look into the cards. You, you can do what I did. Go like, this is what I was going for. And it didn't yeah. sell. <laughs> yeah. The Margot Robbie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. That's the homework. A potential prospect coming into the MLB. Okay. This year. I just want to see. I'm going to just go get something on uh, some kind of return. I'll look into it. Okay. Yeah, there you okay. Go. That's okay. a good one. That's a good the one. The other thing is, I have some Bowman first. Oh. I could just go into the archives. Or and you could go into the archives too, man. Yeah. Okay. And what then. What uh, Super Bowl pick? Super Bowl pick. Oh. I also want to know why. I am going with the 49ers. Why? Because my family likes the 49ers. But also because this is the second time that Shanahan's going against. Andy Reid. I mean, Andy Reid will probably have some wrinkles up his sleeve, but I mean, mm -hmm. Shanahan is it is a different defense, the better defense yeah. that the Chiefs do have. But I think Shanahan's creative. He can make some plays for all of the stars on his team. He has so many stars; they have to be able to do something against Mahomes. What about the? Uh, I told you the Kadarius Tony scheming man. Well, he's off IR. That's the thing. Well, I'm saying last, the Chiefs haven't been good ever like whenever Kadarius Tony is active. Mm. So since they won he's active Super Bowl now with active Kadarius Tony. Well, he's active. And where now. the hell where the hell is Sky Moore? I don't know. He's probably hanging out with Kadarius Tony. Yeah. Crying. So, cry. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's well, my see, pick. Like, that's my pick. Um, I want 49ers. Because you hold Purdy. I have the two, and we're tired of Mahomes already. Right? That's right. I hold Mahomes too, though. Oh, you do hold. Me. Yeah, you hold every. You have everything. I hold everybody. You have what? Last year, I went into that game. I didn't care about Jalen Hurts, and I was like, Mahomes. Let's grow that legacy. Let's go. Yeah. And it, it's great. Fine. Perfect. But now we're like, let's see some Purdy get that win. There's so many storylines and like weird things going on. But for the sake of the podcast, I'm going to have to just say like the, the Chiefs can do it. It's Andy Reid scheming that Tony stuff. Like I don't want to but you cannot count them out oh of course yeah you can't count them out Ugh, i want to count them out lost in the cost just... live streaming the super bowl <laughs> yeah, we could you want to we'll make the pot at the, at the we place can. we could we can it's possible potential live Maybe stream noisy garbage yeah yeah but i different. don't want you know what i'm i can't i can't do it i can't go against the 49ers we're both taking the Niners. We're both taking the Niners. I just like it. The storylines are great. Uh, I don't actually... I'm not overly invested either way. So, like, I actually just, like, let's enjoy the game. Mm -hmm. So, now that we both said that there are, we're going to be going with the Niners, I'm going to be putting in a bet on the Chiefs. Are you? <laughs> well, like, uh... You know, they came to me. I gave you the line. I said they hammered that Team Matthews. Oh, we did. We did. We hammered won. Team Matthews to win, and uh, we won that bet. So, thank you like very much. My thinking all week and before that was 49ers, and I tried to, you know, go against the grain for the pod, and I can't. It's a time. I'm a Niners guy. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, yeah. Niners. Do it for the Bay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for listening yeah. again to our. Make sure you wear your Levi's jeans on Sunday. Yeah, wear your Levi's jeans on Sunday, everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, to support the Niners and their stadium. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Title sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks again for listening. Uh, once again, my name is AJ, aka A dot Hobby Spot, and it's Scott Pack Papa on Instagram and eBay, and wherever. Maybe on YouTube. I'll still on, not confirm it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can follow us all on there. And uh, this is Lost in the Cost. And we'll see you uh, again next week.
Peace. After trade night. After trade night. Trade night next Tuesday. Be there. Yeah. Later, guys. Bye.